Hi everyone, welcome back to Quantify Your Career. So in our last video, we saw what are the most important topics in mathematics which are required for quantitative finance. So I hope you found the video helpful and downloaded the mathematics guide because it had real interview questions related to math which are asked in quant finance interviews. Now I have created a similar guide for probability and statistics topics used in quantitative finance. You can download this for free using the link in the description below. And this includes key topics, subtopics, some applications in quantitative finance and some sample questions. Let's see what are these topics on a broad level. Under probability and statistics, you first study basic probability concepts, which include axioms of probability, random variables and key distributions, which are divided into discrete and continuous, moment generating functions, which include mean, variance, and all the third and fourth moments, joint distribution, limit theorems, which include law of large numbers, central limit theorem, statistical inference, including parameter estimation, which includes hypothesis testing, regression and time series analysis, which includes linear regression and time series like Arch and Garch, and advanced topics, which include copulas and extreme value theory. Now, under the axioms of probability, you have sample spaces, events, the probability axioms like additivity, normalization, and even Bayes' law. Some of these concepts are used in probability measures for risk calculations, like the risk neutral versus real world measures, the P versus Q measures. So these concepts are used in those kinds of topics. So I have also included study resources after each subtopic. You also need to study permutations, combinations, and multinomial coefficients. These are also used in scenario analysis to calculate payoff of exotic derivatives, which have multiple states, for example. This is to show you what topic is used where in real world application. Random variables and distributions is the most important topic and the most basic topic you should know in probability and statistics. So how I have divided it is discrete random variables and continuous random variables. So in discrete random variables, you have the probability mass function, cumulative distribution function, expectation, variance, you have some common distributions within discrete, which are Bernoulli, binomial, Poisson, geometric, discrete, uniform. For example, your Poisson distribution can be used for jump processes in high frequency trading or binomial for multiple defaults in a portfolio. Whereas for continuous random variables, you have probability density function, CDF, expectation, variance, and some of these distributions are continuous, uniform, normal, exponential, gamma, and log normal. One of the application can be credit defaults and jumps. These can be modeled as exponential or gamma distributions. Moment generating functions go hand in hand once you study these distributions. It's not just important to know mean and variance, but also the third and the fourth moments, like skewness, kurtosis. This is very important to study the risk of extreme events. So fat tails, and the tail risk in portfolios are options. Your option pricing and modeling aggregated risk requires characteristic functions and moment generating functions. In the real world, you might require multivariate and joint normal distributions, for example, to model multiple asset returns. For this, you will need joint, marginal, and conditional distributions. And the basis for conditional distribution is the Bayes' law, which we saw in the basic probability concept. Correlation and covariance are, of course, important in portfolio theory. Limit theorems include law of large numbers. I've made a short video on this. Check out the link here to know more about law of large numbers. This also includes the central limit theorem, which can be used in risk aggregation. This is the basis for normal approximation in value at risk. Statistical inference is super important because of parameter estimation, your maximum likelihood estimation is included here, Bayesian estimation and method of moments. So for example, MLE, maximum likelihood estimation, can be used to estimate the parameters of Garch or Black-Scholes volatility. Hypothesis testing is one of the most important concepts in statistics. This is related to the time series regression analysis and concepts like p-values and confidence intervals are not just used for 
interview preparation, but they are also used in real life application of quantitative finance. For example, testing of a trading strategy requires determining if there if the strategy's returns are statistically significant. Next is regression and time series. Linear regression is the most basic but most important time series analysis concept, which is also covered in subjects like econometrics when you go for a master's in financial engineering. And concepts like OLS, R squared measure, residual analysis, the beta, all of that is actually being applied when you do factor modeling or return forecasting. Your ARIMA, ARCH, GARCH, autocorrelation, all of these concepts are used in volatility modeling, modeling of returns or interest rates. So time series and regression analysis are a very important part of statistics and quantitative finance. You can also go for advanced topics like copulas, which can be used in credit risk, modeling the joint default risk, for example, and even extreme value theory used in risk management. It is used in modeling tail risk, which measures extreme market moves. So in real life applications, you might require these advanced concepts. So I hope you found this video helpful and please download this free guide from the link in the description below. And I would really encourage you to watch the mathematics for quantitative finance video and download the guide to know what topics in mathematics are essential for quantitative finance.